Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert percents to decimals. We will go through four example problems together, and then I'll give you four practice problems that you can try on your own. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have 85%. Now when going from a percent to a decimal, all we need to do is divide by 100. Divide the percent by 100, and that will give us the decimal. And remember, a quick way to divide by 100 is to move the decimal twice to the left. So for number one, let's divide 85% by 100. For 85%, the decimal comes after the five, after the ones place. So I'm going to rewrite this as 85 and then the decimal. We can always write a decimal after a whole number if need be. We typically don't write decimals or see them with a whole number though because they aren't needed. So something to keep in mind. So to divide by 100 here, let's move the decimal once, twice to the left. That gives us 0.85, 85 hundredths. So 85% equals 0 0.85. Now when I rewrote that decimal, I started with a zero and then the decimal. This is common when writing decimals because it helps us recognize and see the decimal. We don't want the decimal to get overlooked. Let's move on to number two where we have 2%. I'm going to rewrite this underneath with a decimal, and now we need to divide by 100. So let's move the decimal once, twice to the left, and we need to fill this gap, this place, with a zero. So we get 0.02. 2% equals 0 0.02, two hundredths as a decimal. Let's move on to number three, where we have 70%. I'm going to rewrite this underneath with a decimal, and then let's divide by 100. So move the decimal once, twice to the left. So we get 0 0.70. 70% equals 0 0.70, 70 hundredths as a decimal. Now, one more thing I do want to mention about number three. Remember, zeros to the right of decimal digits do not change the value of anything. So really, we can write this as 0 0.7 as well, so 7 tenths. So we took that zero on the end off. These decimals are equivalent, so they are both correct. So that's something to be aware of when working with decimals. Lastly, let's move on to number four, where we have 39.4%. So let's divide this by 100 in order to convert it to a decimal. So let's move the decimal once, twice to the left, and we end up with 0.394. So 39.4% equals 0 0.394. So 394 thousandths. So those were our example problems. Let's move on to some practice problems that you can try on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. So here are your practice problems. I'll give you four minutes and then we will go over the answers. Feel free to pause if you need more time or jump ahead to the answers whenever you are ready. Go ahead and start.
Okay, so that was four minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are our answers. For number one, our decimal is 24 hundredths, so 0 0.24. For number two, our decimal is 915 thousandths, so 0 0.915. Moving on to number three, our decimal is 3 hundredths, so 0 0.03. And then lastly, for number four, our decimal is 60 hundredths or 6 tenths. Either of those will work. They are equivalent. So 0 0.60 or 0 0.6. So there you have it. There's how to convert percents to decimals. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.